I still have a good ways to go with this game. However, you will get a good understanding of the game's mechanics within the first hour. A couple examples would be crafting station, vendors, of course cosmetics, fast travel, how to use your Navi sense. This fixing slash hacking electronic that you're looking at right now is one of the first things they introduce to you. And without getting into spoilers, you just had this traumatic event. Shortly after, you will regroup with some Navi and a bunch of humans that you will meet for the first time. And this is all happening in this hub area. So here you are. You're this big blue badass that just experienced something extremely traumatic. And one of the very first interactions you'll have is this guy handing you a fucking tool to go and fix some faulty wiring. Look, I get it's a video game, so it has to have some video gamey things. But come on, it's just so lazy, man. They're introducing you to these electronic puzzles not even an hour into the game. These exact puzzles we have done countless times before in other video games, including Dead Space, for God's sake. Not to mention the tool itself we've used countless times before in other games. I always thought that Massive Entertainment made some of the most detailed, amazing open worlds from a level design standpoint. Everything else in between, debatable. And I think this might be their crowning achievement up until this point. And it's just sad to see, time and time again, these amazing open worlds undermined by the gameplay. I made a video not too long ago talking about why I thought we encounter situations like this. And I think it's partly because whoever's in charge of the gameplay has likely been in the industry for a while, isn't willing to take chances, stuck in their old ways, and so in my opinion, they should rotate these guys out after so many years and replace them with somebody that's hungry, has fresh ideas, looking to make a mark in the industry. Oh, well, you can't replace that guy. He made an amazing game 10 years ago. What good is it if he's just a shell of who he used to be? That's not to say this game is bad, but there's a stark contrast in what you're seeing and what you're actually doing. You feel like you're in this huge, expansive, amazing amusement park but it's filled with a bunch of rides you've been on before. The open world design is outclassing the gameplay. And that is because they want to apply the same formula, use the same playbook for every single fucking game. People keep comparing this game to Far Cry. And because of that, you can actually point to certain things and say, hey, this is different than how they did it with Far Cry. And while it's a relief that certain elements didn't carry over from Far Cry into this game, but the more apt comparison would be the division in terms of game design. It's sad, really. On one hand, they're making these amazing open worlds. And this is definitely one of the best under the Ubisoft umbrella. An open world that feels like a generational leap, only to be dragged down by gameplay that feels like it has one foot in the past. I'd forgotten how it feels to simply sit in the breeze, 